Hi Elvis fans, and I love this interview. It's Ginger Olden talking about when Elvis Presley proposed to her. And she always said that Elvis was a magical man with a special energy. So here's her little story about how that day played out. The people coming up and down the stairs talking to him. And finally, at one point, Elvis comes back in Lisa's room, takes me by the hand, and walks to his dressing area, to his bathroom. And there was a chair in his bathroom, and he had me sit down in that. Elvis's bathroom upstairs was a special sanctuary for him, and he would spend a lot of time in there. And he uh, started saying some, some really, really beautiful things to me. And uh, he got down on bended knee. And so put yourself in her shoes. Elvis is going to propose to you. And I think she was very surprised. She wasn't expecting it. And pulls a green velvet box from behind his back and says to me, you know, I've been searching for love for so long. I've been 60% happy, 40% happy, never 100%. Never did I think I'd find it in my own backyard. And then he goes, I'm asking you, will you marry me? These are very interesting words. Elvis talking about the fact that he had never been 100% in love but with ginger olden 20 year old girl from memphis tennessee it basically from his backyard really he had fallen in love in the latter years before he passed away and i was blown away i did say yes <laughs> i did say wow. yes <laughs> but and of course she said yes and you can hear it in her tone of her voice and the way she giggles that this feels very genuine and that she really did love Elvis. And I do believe that he had fallen for her quite deeply and surprisingly after a very difficult few years. And he did see a light at the end of a tunnel. Who knows how this would have all turned out if he hadn't have passed away. But it was just a beautiful, beautiful memory for me. And uh, then we stepped outside and his friend Charlie Hodge gave me a little backgammon game. It's like a little engagement gift. And uh, uh, yeah, I always kept asking me to hold up my hand and the ring was absolutely beautiful. And what a beautiful memory that she has of that day. And Charlie Hodge gives her a gift. And Elvis is so proud, making her hold her hand up to show this beautiful ring off. And that ring has its own story in itself, where Elvis needed a large diamond for that ring and ended up removing it from a piece of jewellery that he owned. But that's another story. And uh, I didn't know until years later that the stone... Uh, for my engagement ring had been taken from his TCB ring that he, he loved and wore on stage. And if you listen to some of Ginger Oldham's interviews, Elvis was excited about life. He was looking forward to performing live and some movie projects that he hoped for. Even more children. His whole world was going to open up for him with a new future and hopefully a better future. He had started losing weight. He was getting better and he seemed happier and things looked like they were going to turn a corner. But as we know, Ginger Oldham found him in the bathroom and he had passed away and the whole world mourned. It's such a sad ending to what could have been a beautiful beginning. Thanks, everyone.